Hey guys, let's check out what's going on with Elio. Alright guys, what is going on my Elio friends? I know it's been a while. I'm still around, but you know, we're doing other things. Uh, we've been waiting for Elio for years and uh, nothing has happened yet. So I was thinking, you know what? I was feeling kind of, uh, uh, what's that word again? I was feeling a little nostalgic, guys, you know, because they usually release their Elio shows on su Sundays, and today is Sunday, so I was like, hey, why not do a follow-up video and see what the heck is going on with Elio? So the first thing we want to do is try and go on their website. Go to their website, and this is what I get. I type in eliomotors.com, and it says the site cannot be reached. What the heck? Look at that. This is what I get. Okay, let's make sure that... Um, that my thing is working, okay? So let's type in, uh, let's try in Sam of USA. Sam of USA.com. Okay, so my internet is working. As you guys know, Sam is coming soon. More news coming, yada, yada, yada. Don't forget though, guys, if you guys do want to stay in the loop with Sam, please sign in. Right, go ahead and sign in your first and last name, email address. Boom, hit subscribe, and then uh, you'll be on the forefront of all of uh, Sam news. Let's try it again. www.eliomotors.com. Oh, I think I spelled it wrong. <laughs> fail, Joe. Fail. Idiot. <laughs> so it is still here. And it's the same picture, the beautiful Elio E1C right there, guys. And they're still taking reservation with a targeted price of seven thousand four hundred fifty. It's been a while. Uh, let's see. Let's just look at the titles of these, you know, these momentum things. This week in industry trends, the human touch. They're probably talking about. Uh, there had been long-held belief that many jobs would become obsolete and workers unemployed due to the advent of robotics. But it says right here, there is hope and evidence, however, that the human touch is still required in automotive, uh, the automotive industry. Automotive News has found that automakers that have attempted to largely remove humans from the assembly lines are floundering. Getting better all the time. Let's see what's getting better all the time with Elio. Speaking of recent improvements... It was not long ago that the new vehicle reliability involved a degree of uncertainty. That trend has been largely reversed, and new vehicles are now more reliable than ever before. Yeah, I I agree with that. I think that's that's true. You know, remember back then when you're like when you're buying a car, you know, you have to look at the maker. If the maker is kind of iffy, you're like, oh man, this car is not going to be reliable. Uh, remember the first Hyundais that came out? You know, it was terrible. And and look at the innovation now. Boom, they're solid. So again, look at, I mean, let's just go over the, uh, the, the news here has really nothing. What do you guys want? I'm going to guess what you want. What you want is, I want to know what is Elio Motors standing right now? What is the status what is going on? Not Elio, not just a third vehicle, but only vehicle you should own. Or Home Sweet Home, the Elio Motor Plant has been and continues to be a major topic conversation. The one in Shreveport, Louisiana. Penny for your thoughts. Happy Friday, Elios. Are you as excited for the weekend as we are? I mean, okay. Where is the E1C? So that's interesting, right? So if you guys haven't had a chance to... Uh, read this or, or get it in your email, check out what they said here. And this was two days ago it was sent to me. Uh, happy Friday, Elio Eliowers. And I hope you're a Hoops fan. Uh, the past week has been downright blissful. Even, okay, screw that. Let's, let's get to the real deal. It says, do you remember the show Where in the World is Carmen San Diego? If you don't, contestants would guess where the lead character was. What well, the lead character was based on various geographical clues. Let's try the variation of popular show. The based on the picture below, can you guess where the E1C is today? Anybody? Anybody? Well, 
Okay, let's use some deductive reasoning. It definitely looks like a big city. Yeah, I can see that. It's a big city. And there's some guy standing right there. Uh, if you think it's a warmer locale like Los Angeles or Dallas, you've overlooked the fact that everyone seems to be wearing heavy winter jacket. Ah, we'll see a sigh action here, right? We're big, thick jackets. So we know it's not in LA. If you give up, well, it's in New York. And we often get asked where the E1C is located. What, uh, what's it been up to? And yeah, that's what we've all been wanting to know. You know, more. we need more emails like this from you, Elio Motors. You know, kind of keeping your investors and your uh, reservation holders in the loop, right? So here's what they're doing with E1C, they said. They said that we bring the, uh, the E1C to investor meetings, right? And which is this picture right here. When the E1C is not at investor meetings, it is at a location that allows for quick quick access to our engineers in Michigan. So that means it's near Michigan and, you know, that they're still working on it. Be great to have like some sort of a uh, uh, info on that. Let's make a momentum of that, right? Like, what are we doing this week with the E1C? Or what are what is our engineers up to in, in engineering this... Uh, this machine. The E1C is not on a public tour as we're using it for investor meetings and engineering, but it will be in the near future. So that's good to know, right? Uh, we often hear a ton of great suggestions from our reservation holders about the designs of the t-shirts. Come on, forget the t-shirts. Forget the thousand dollar t-shirt that I, that I, that I own. Okay, so, but they said they're going to be doing a little contest. Send us your best design for the Elio t-shirts to tell more at eliomotors.com. Hey, there you go, guys. Why don't you go send in some uh, uh, some t-shirts? And what you guys can do, if you guys do come up with a t-shirt uh, as well, why don't you guys go and email it to me, right? Or message it to me through our uh, Elio Owners Association. Yeah, post it there. Perfect. Uh, if you guys haven't done so, go to Facebook, right? Let me actually just go there. So we have a group here called the Elio Owners Association. This is where we post a bunch of things about Elio and, you know, uh, the news about Elio. So, yeah, post it here. Be great. And if you haven't joined yet, please join. I'll approve you, you know. It's, so join this group and then you can share your t-shirt idea. That'd be awesome. I have I have a t-shirt uh, idea I could show you guys. Hold on. Let me see if I can find it. There it is. Check out my t-shirt. Boom! See, this, we did this while we were in um, in uh, Sam Polska's factory. Look at this. The $100,000 t-shirt club. I'm in it, right? You're in it too. <laughs> Top five most expensive t-shirts in the world. Number one, the Elio shirt, $1,000. A Chanel shirt costs you around one hundred twenty dollars. A Prada shirt, yeah, you know, like around a hundred bucks. And then you have a Gucci shirt at ninety dollars. An Armani T-shirt, eighty-five. So, who is at the top? Elio. All right, disclaimer, guys. We just kind of made those numbers up. <laughs> so, you know, yeah, sometimes you're gonna have to just laugh at these things, you know, you know. Okay, so let's get back to. To where's the E1C email? So there it is, guys. So if you guys have an idea for a shirt, either pro Elio or uh, anti Elio, whatever, you know, just put it up there. You know, let's check it out and see what you got. And we'll talk about it. And if you are serious about it, though, go on to tell me more at ElioMotors.com. Maybe your shirt will be, um, you know, will be picked and and you'll have the thousand dollar T-shirts. <laughs> So, anyways, guys, I just wanted to do a quick update on what's going on with Elio. Actually, before we do, we do get off. Let's go to Google and let's go ahead and type in Elio Motors News 2018. Boom, there it is. Bring on 2018. We've seen that before, right? From Elio's momentum stuff. So, we're not even going to go into there. Reddit. Uh, yep, and Reddit, some people did talk about that. Uh, sick of waiting for the Elio production. Oh, see, this is where people are trying to look for other uh, options. This was in October 19th, uh, 2017. So they're all pretty old news. Yeah. 
Oh, they're talking about the five alternatives. If you if you're sick of uh, the news wheel, at least this we hear. Uh, it says if you guys are you know sick and tired of waiting for Elio, they have five things. Okay, Saunders. You guys know I'm a big fan of Saunders, right? Uh, Vanderhall, a buddy of ours uh, here on. Uh, a buddy of ours, one of our viewers, actually has one, and you know what? We'll, we'll do. Uh, I'll, I'll get together with him, and we'll make a video about the Vander Hall and the slingshot. We all know. And the slingshot, right? You know, looking at uh, starting uh, base price of twenty thousand dollars, right, on all the way up to thirty thousand dollars. And the next one, guys, is Akromoto. You know, we did a. We saw these guys at the LA Auto Show. Uh, it's, you know, it's. I think this one's really considered a motorcycle because it doesn't have a steering wheel, but it does have handlebars. Right. And uh, in this next one, we have the Electromechanica Solo. We have a video on that, actually, right? Wow, well, I was invited by uh, Electromechanica. You know, uh, Jerry Kroll, the CEO of the company, invited me over there and checked out their you know their operation and, uh, pretty cool stuff and I got to drive it pretty cool pretty cool car to drive and you know and, and these guys didn't put sand in but whatever <laughs> so yeah I mean that's there's really not a lot of news uh, about Elio and and it's funny look at the caption down here it says sorry dude you're taking too long <laughs> way too long Alright guys, I will let you guys be. Thank you again for all your support guys and thank you for watching the videos and if you guys like watching uh, the videos or listening to me rant and you know <laughs> do all that other stuff, hey guys give me a subscribe that'd be awesome and we have a lot of other things coming with our different shows so we have our let's talk, well actually my main show is uh, you know let's talk cars which I just kind of branch off with different vehicles that, you know, we, we car lovers uh, like. So, anyways, uh, if you guys want to, you know, stay on top of uh, what what's being released, you know, go ahead and subscribe and click on that notification bell so you guys know when we have a new video up. So, anyways, guys, thank you for watching. I will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week. This is Joker88 signing off. I'll talk to you later, guys. Bye.